In our back to school headquarters, we continue to dig into safety and security policies at school districts across mid Missouri. Our news team has spent weeks asking more than 40 districts for security purchases, locked door maintenance records, and safety policies to make sure your district is using your tax dollars to keep your kids safe. This morning, we're looking at what ABC 17 Sarah Higgins uncovered while taking a look at those documents from Fulton Schools. More than 2,000 Fulton students are back at school this week, and ABC 17 wanted to know how the district plans to keep students safe. We asked for last year's maintenance records of repairs to school doors and locks, its safety policies, and security upgrade expenses, and here's what I found. In the last five years, and across the three elementary schools, the district spent more than $1.2 million on security upgrades. Those upgrades include two exterior door replacements, a secure vestibule entry, which are monitored lobbies for anyone going in and out, and parking lot lighting upgrades. The district also spent nearly $6 million on security upgrades for Fulton Middle School. The upgrades include eight new classrooms, upgraded doors for all classrooms, and a secure vestibule entry. For Fulton High School, the district spent more than $11.7 million on upgrades. Those include a new gym and offices, parking lot camera and lighting upgrades, and a secure vestibule entry. The district also spent $100,000 on a district-wide security camera upgrade. Now, I looked through school policies that deal with safety and emergencies, and here's what I found. There are expectations for locked classroom doors, but there is no board policy. There will be one staff intruder drill run by police and two student intruder drills every school year. And it will identify an emergency shelter in place for up to 72 hours. The shelter can be used for any emergency where it's not safe for parents to pick up students, for example, during extreme winter weather. Now, the district did not provide maintenance records for door locks and repairs, but we'll keep you updated with new information as it comes in throughout the rest of the school year. Tune in tomorrow as we'll wrap up this week's school district security coverage with Sedalia Public Schools. Back to you.